Hello and welcome to this Radio Control Quick Tip. Now, I've had this question a couple of times over the last few weeks, so I thought it's worthwhile me putting a quick video together. Now, this is a radio that has Express LRS in the back. This is a Radio Master TX16S with one of their Ranger Express LRS modules. But it's the same whether the radio has Express LRS internally or um, a module like this. And that's when you go into the Express LRS Lua script and you do that by pressing the system button and then clicking on Express LRS. It just sits like that, basically says loading, and never does anything. Now, what's happening here is the Lua script is trying to talk to the Express LRS technology in the radio to get all the information, but it's not getting in a reply. So if I just exit out of that, let's exit all the way out. What we have to do is in the model setup, model by model, tell the radio where that CRSF stuff is. If I press the model button, this is the first page. If I go right the way down here, we can see that it has internal RF and external RF. Now, internal RF is set to off at the moment because we could use the internal circuitry in here. This is one of the multi-protocol module versions of the radio, and I don't want to use the NPM module. I want to use the one in the bay at the back. If it was an Express LRS radio, we would turn this on and we would select CRSF. However, what we're going to do is go into external RF, which is going to talk to the bay at the back, which is where I have my Express LRS module, and we're going to select CRSF. And then it will come up with a load of defaults. I would just keep the defaults for now. That's probably going to be absolutely fine. With that set, we can now come out. The radio now knows, if we go back, you can see here that external RF has gone yellow. It's, it's configured. So what we can do is we can come out of that, go back in the system menu, and this time when we run Express LRS Lua script, we will get all the information. So that's all it is. If you ever run the Lua script and nothing is happening, it probably means that you haven't configured CRSF, either the internal module, if it has CRSF internally, or externally, if you have a module in the back. Thank you for watching my video. Check out the playlist and adding Painless360 to your search terms will help you find my content. If you haven't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button. It helps a lot. You can support the time I spend here answering questions and helping others by using the links in the video description.